place the airway tube between the index finger and thumb just distal to the connector. With the other hand, rock the AirQ3 connector back and forth while pulling the connector outward, away from the airway tube. Pass the lubricated endotracheal tube into the airway tube and distribute the lubricant within the shaft by moving the endotracheal tube up and down until it travels freely through the entire airway tube. Insert the endotracheal tube to the appropriate depth depending on the air Q3 size. This will place the tip of the endotracheal tube proximal to the opening within the mask cavity. There are several techniques used to advance the endotracheal tube into the trachea and through the vocal cords. Using a fiber optic endoscope or bougie are common techniques. Follow your standard protocol for advancing the endotracheal tube. Inflate the cuff and verify adequate ventilation. To remove the Air Q3 airway, select the appropriate removal stylet size. Remove the endotracheal tube connector. Next, position the proximal portion of the endotracheal tube between the index finger and thumb and leave enough space for the tip of the removal stylet. Squeeze the tube and insert the tapered end of the removal stylet into the endotracheal tube. For Air Q3 airway size 2.0 to 5.0, use a firm inward pressure and rotate the removal stylet tapered tip in a clockwise direction until the adapter firmly engages. For Air Q3 airway sizes 0 to 1.5, simply push the stylet firmly into the endotracheal tube. Fully deflate the Air Q3 cuff and pilot balloon. Deflate and lubricate the endotracheal tube pilot balloon before withdrawing the Air Q3 airway. While exerting inward stabilizing force on the removable stylet, slowly withdraw the Air Q3 airway over the stylet rod. Reposition the endotracheal tube to the proper depth and inflate the cuff. Secure the endotracheal tube. Replace the connector and attach to an appropriate breathing device. Verify adequate ventilation.